Luis Progreso, gracias a la misericordia. This is Francisco Brujo Luis. And I'm doing a video today just to uh, give a general quick reading for the week uh, starting March. I think we're March 7th. Sorry, I had to go look at the calendar. I don't even know where I'm at. But this is this man is created by Tata Rob, uh, Alex Goldbeck. And Michelle Jackson, I'm gonna link. I'm gonna leave a link down below if you're interested in getting one of these mats. Uh, the mat comes with a pouch or a bag to keep your mat in, and an instruction uh, booklet where to or how to read the bones. You're gonna have to collect your own bones. I suggested you know people should collect their own bones. It's more sacred that way. If you notice, uh, so anyways, there's a link down below. If you're curious, if you want to, but I'm just going to give you a general, uh, quick reading on how I would read the bones. Uh, but again, I'm going to leave a link down below. This is the mat right in below. I have, I like to, I personally like to have a fiber mat. It connects it to the, uh, the realm of the spirit, to the earth, to nature. It weaves. Okay. The symbol of weaving connection. Everything's weaved together. Everything is connected. So I always, we always like to use weaved mat in a circular motion. So I'm always placed in the bottom when I read uh, the bones. Generally, I just read without the mat. You know, I just read the bones without the mat. This mat right here. But when I got it uh, from Tata Rob, which was a gift, I fell in love with it and I said, you know, I can read the bones with it because usually I have to visualize where these certain sections are. And I said, oh my God, this will work perfectly for reading, for divining, for, you know, just casting the bones in general. So when I saw it, I said, you know, I'm, I, I contacted him because I was going to use it for something else. I don't know if it wall decker, but I said, you know, I can use that for reading. So anyways, I'm going to give you a general quick reading on how I would personally use it. Again, it is created by Tata Rob. Uh, there's a link below. Tata Rob, Alex Goldbeck, and Michelle Jackson. If you're interested, it just comes with the mat, a bag, and a booklet on how to read the bones. I, collect, I, I suggest you collect your own bones or read your own bones. I'm going to read with these bones. They're made out of resins. They're not actual real bones. but I've collected them through the years, and this is what I use to give readings when I'm casting the bones. I always like to uh, pay the spirits uh, three quarry shells as a form of, of money. I always like to have a candle and a glass of water when I'm, you know, reading bones for a client. So anyways, this is just going to be a general quick reading for the week starting March uh, 7, 2016. And I hope you like. Anyways, there's the link if you're interested in the map. Okay, so before I read for a client uh, casting the bones, uh, I like to place the bones on the center of the mat. Okay, and with my left hand, I like to do a circular motion to uh, give energy to my spirits, let them know that I'm going to communicate with them. And I like to open uh, the communication with a little prayer. You can use any prayer that you so choose. And this is the one that I like to personally use. And it goes something like this Papa Legba, abreme la puerta, abreme la puerta, Papa Legba, abreme la puerta, Papa Legba, para yo poder pasar. Y cuando yo vuelva, le doy gratitud a todo lo va. Abreme la puerta, Papa Legba. Abreme la puerta, papa legba. Abreme la puerta, papa legba. Para yo poder pasar. Y cuando yo vuelva, le doy gratitud a todo lo va. Abreme la puerta, papa legba. Abreme la puerta, papa legba. Para yo poder pasar. Y cuando yo vuelva, le doy gratitud a todo lo va. Luz, papa legba. Luz para los misterios. Luz para los muertos. Luz para los ancestros. Luz para los ancestros. Agua, papa legba. Agua para los misterios. Agua para los muertos, agua para los ancestros, agua para los ancestros. Papá le va, ábreme la puerta, ábreme la puerta, papá le va, para yo poder pasar y cuando yo vuelva le doy gratitud a todo lo va. Ábreme la puerta, papá le va, ábreme la puerta, papá le va, ábreme la puerta, papá le va, para yo poder pasar y cuando yo vuelva le doy gratitud a todo lo va. After I do that uh, prayer, I like to take my higuera again, place the bones on the higuera and then I cast, I cast for the client. Okay, so this is just going to be a general reading for anyone who watched the video. I don't know if I'm going to do this on a weekly basis. I like to have uh, music in the background and I place the bones in the higuera and I like to shake it up a little bit. Anything that falls outside of this rim, it's, it's not as strong as anything that falls within the center of, of the mat. Uh, the mat has a lot of symbology. You'd have to get the book to understand the symbology. It really works well with divining with your ancestors and having Papa Leba to open the doors to communicate with your spirits. So I take the bones and I cast them on top of the bones and then I just start reading. 
Okay, so this is a reading for anyone who's watching the video. Okay, right now it's talking to me about a lot of wasted energy, a lot of uh, internal problems, uh, arguments, fights that you are uh, you need to walk away from sometimes. Uh, you yourself have to be the bigger person sometimes and say, you know, this has got to stop. I have to learn to walk away. You're placing too much energy on this, okay? Your strength comes from... Uh, Focusing on rebuilding yourself, focusing on rebuilding your life, anything that, that you feel that, how can I say that, that you, you're placing too much energy on blaming others, you're looking for an escape goat, okay, stop with the escape goats, um, you will find freedom when you accept that problems come from within. Okay, and when we fix these problems from within, uh, we can learn to, okay, it's time to regrow. Leave the past in the past, okay? Definitely leave these past in the past. We're talking about a lot of feminine energy here, okay? So, please learn to focus on letting go of these things. You're placing too much thought on supposedly witchcraft or people doing uh, negative things to you. They cannot get at you if you are a strong faith person and if your aura is well balanced, if you balance your chakras, if you balance your life. Uh, and there's a Puerto Rican saying, yo me limpio el culo con la brujería que me tiran. You, you have to, when people are supposedly first of all supposedly if an enemy is casting or trying to hurt you they're not going to let you know okay so here your enemies are all in sight and you got to say okay i know they're there i recognize they're there i'm not going to place a lot of energy on that okay because you are definitely giving that too much light this is what's causing you weakness it's causing you mental disturbances so definitely walk away uh it is best if you if you're a soldier and you are how does it, how does the saying go in English? A soldado avisado no muere en guerra. A soldier who was advised will not die in war, in times of war. I'm giving you the advice. Focus, okay? Stop blaming other people for the problems that you have. You're blaming uh, people in your past. Mother, maybe female energies or motherly energies or feminine energies. You're a grown up, you're an adult, you're not a child no more. It is time to take responsibilities for your own actions, uh, why you're living the way you're living, or what's happening in your life at this moment. It is because of your choices, uh, cause and effect, you know, karma. Okay, uh, karma does creep up on you, okay doesn't mean that, that you will not change when you realize that you that okay when you realize that you place the seeds to much of the problems that you have it is time that you will regrow it is time that you will become strength again you will become strong again okay yes one door uh closes to a problem and maybe two more may open but guess what it is time to you to focus and keep moving on and not allowing yourself to fall in a, a vicious cycle of constant problems constant suffering constant someone's throwing witchcraft at me someone Someone's throwing black magic at me. Yes, people do, but the people that do do these negative things, whether it's gossip, whether it's the evil eye, whether it's black magic or whatever you want to call it, it's very weak. And you're giving it too much energy. You're giving it too much power. You have to have a little bit more faith in your spirit guides. If you don't have faith in your spirit guides, if you don't give them strength, if you don't give them a little candle and a little water, you know, candle to light in their way, water to give them clarity. How can you expect your spirit guides to protect you, to give you, to give you your understanding, illumination? Okay, uh, let's see what else I can see here. You will, you will be changing. You'll be transforming. Stop focusing on, like I said, on past life, those problems that you had in your past. They keep coming back. Either face it. Face it, say this is what happened, let me move forward, okay? I cannot live in the past because the, the past 
keeps creeping up on you and keeps bringing problems into your present time, into your present day. And it's not letting you move forward the way you need to move forward. You have to have a little bit more faith in your ancestors. You have to have more faith in your spirit guides. You have to have more faith in your guardian angel, your saint, tu santo devoción, whatever it may be. Uh, once you have faith in them, once you have uh, you strengthen your connection with your ancestors, with your spirit guides, you begin to learn how to heal. You begin to learn how to grow. You begin to learn how to say, you know what, it's time for me to move forward. I cannot carry the baggage from my past any longer. I have to let it go. I recognize it is there and it makes me who I am as a person, but I have to let it go. Once you let it go, uh, you will notice that you will begin to grow. You will begin to move forward. Be careful with your enemies. You know, uh, there's a saying, better the devil that you know than the devil that you don't. Your enemies are present. You know who they are. But you keep giving blind eyes to them. You know the messages are there. You know who are the people that are causing you problems. You know who are the people that gossip about you, that talk about you behind your back. They're always present. They're always face to face in front of your face. And you keep giving a blind eye to that. Once you say stop. Once you're the bigger person and you say, stop, I, I'm done. I've had enough. I forgive you. You need to go your way. I need to go my way. It's the only way that you will be able to move, to grow, uh, and and to make a better you know person of yourself and to start the new chapters of your life. Uh, but anyways, this is a, this is just a general reading of how I read the bones. I cast it a few more times for the, you know, clients if they have questions. Is, but, you know, this is just talking, basically this reading is talking about growth. Letting go of past, uh, things that you keep letting weigh you down, that you keep bringing forward into the present time. Acknowledge that it happened. Acknowledge it. Accept it. Change it. Do not let this weigh you down. Do not keep letting it. Do not keep letting it uh, control your life. Do not keep letting it destroy your life. Because you're never going to grow. You need to bring this into the light. Those dog emotions that you have, you know, that stem from the past, and it's being focused into the future. This is what's causing your illnesses. This is what's causing your sicknesses, your worries, okay? Once you acknowledge these problems, once you acknowledge that these external influences and you do not allow them anymore in your life, you begin to grow, you begin to prosper, you will see the changes. You have to have faith in your spirits. You have to have faith in God. Uh, over God, there's nothing, nothing. Okay, so you have to have faith in God, whatever name God, you give God, Bondie, Olodumare, Sambia, Jehovah, whatever name, uh, Allah, whatever you name you give God, you have to have faith first in God. Then you have to have faith in those spirits that protect you, those guardian angels that protect you, those guardian angels that that make up layers of your aura. Okay, meditate, pray, cleanse. Purify, wash yourself with water, especially at the end of the week. You know, uh, let go of problems from yesterday. Don't bring them into uh, focus today. Acknowledge them, okay? Acknowledge those problems and say, listen, I've got to, we got to come up with a solution. If, if you're in a relationship, come up with a solution for the problems we had yesterday, but don't bring them into the next day because what you're doing is just going to keep giving it life, keep giving it energy, and it's just going to get worse and worse. Acknowledge it, say we need to change, and we need to move on. Anyways, this is Francisca Brujo Luis. I hope you like the reading. And the mat, again, is by uh, Tata Rob. I'm going to leave a link below. If you like the mat, uh, and if you like this video, please subscribe, please uh, like, share this video, and uh, Santo Sanse, Sancita Brujo Luis.